Hey everyone, it's Rack coming out with a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS and reduce input lag in Call of Duty Warzone. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to optimize windows as well as the game itself to find the perfect balance between visual quality and FPS. So make sure you guys watch all of the steps inside of this video. If this video ends up helping you guys, be sure to leave a like down below and if you guys wanna keep up with the new content, be sure to hit the subscription button along with the notification bell to get notified instantly when I upload a new video. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So yeah guys, starting off with the video, first up we are gonna make sure that our windows is up to date. If you guys didn't know, new windows updates will help you guys boost FPS and they come with new bug fixes that are gonna help you guys fix most of the stutters and a lot of lag spikes. So yeah guys, go down to your start menu and click on this gear icon. Then go to update and security and then click on check for updates. So if you guys find any updates, go ahead and install them. And if you guys have any optional updates right here, go ahead and install those as well. And then restart your PC and then you can continue along with the guide. Then go back to home and click on gaming. For the game bar, make sure it's turned off unless you record with game bar, which I really don't recommend. And then go ahead and go to game mode. For the game mode, make sure it's turned on if you're using any Windows version above 1903. But if you're using any Windows version below 1903, I recommend turning it off. You can check that by going to start menu and typing WinWare and then clicking on it. For me, as you guys can see, I am running on the version 1909. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. Then go back to home again and this time click on privacy. For the general tab, make sure everything is toggled off and then scroll all the way down to find background apps. And then make sure that it's toggled off as well. Don't worry guys, it will not affect any of these apps. It will just restrict them from running in the background when you are not using them, which will reduce a lot of CPU and GPU usage, allowing you guys to get more FPS and also reducing the input lag. So yeah guys, after that you can just close out of it. Next up guys, we are gonna be creating a restore point. Creating a restore point is very important guys because if for any reason these changes don't work out for you guys or you are not happy with the results, you can revert all of these changes easily with a few clicks. So go down to your start menu and search create and then click on create a restore point. Then go ahead and click on the drive where your windows is installed and then click on configure. Make sure that turn on system protection is checked. And for the max usage, set it anywhere between 1 to 5%. I like it at 4%. Then click on apply. OK. And then click on the drive again. And this time click on create. You can name it anything as long as you remember it. For me, I'm just gonna name it Ragnotic. And then click on create. So yeah guys, once the restore point is created, just click on close and hit OK. Next up guys, we are gonna be optimizing our drives to make sure that we are getting the best loading times possible, also reducing any stutters or input delay caused by slower drives. So go down to your start menu and search this PC and then click on it. Then right click on the drive where your windows is installed and click on properties. The first thing we are gonna be doing here is running the disk cleanup, so click on it. And then go ahead and click on OK. Then click on delete files. Don't worry guys, these are all temporary files which Windows no longer requires. So it's completely safe to delete those. Then go to tools and click on check. Then click on scan drive. This is going to scan our drives for any errors and if it finds any of the errors, it, it will automatically fix all of those. It might take some time depending on the speed of your PC. So just go ahead and let it run. So yeah guys, once the scan is complete, then click on close and click on optimize for this tab right here guys go ahead and optimize your hard disk drives make sure you do not optimize any of the solid state drives only optimize the hard disk drives i'm just gonna skip it for the sake of the video but it's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and optimize any of your hard disk drives then click on close click on ok and we can close out of this okay so yeah guys moving on to the next tab go down to your start menu again and search this pc then right click on it and click on properties. Then click on advanced system settings. Click on settings. And then make sure to click on adjust for best performance. And then go ahead and click on animate control elements inside windows. Show thumbnails instead of icons. And show shadows under moist pointer. And click on smooth edges of screen fonts. And then click on apply. 
this is going to change a lot of the visuals so if you guys don't like it go ahead and select the let windows choose what's best for my pc again otherwise click on ok ok and you can close out of it this is going to help you guys boost fps and reduce micro stutters for the next step guys we are going to be disabling some of the startup apps so go down to your taskbar right click on it and click on task manager then go to startup and then right click on anything that you don't want to start with your pc and click on disable for me personally i have disabled ccleaner i have disabled discord nordvpn free download manager and everything except for the epic games launcher so just go ahead and do that and then you can close out of it next up guys we are going to be creating a, an ultimate power plan for our pc which is gonna allow our PC to run at its maximum potential giving us more FPS as well as reducing any lag spikes or any stutters so go down to your start menu and search for CMD right click on it run it as administrator then click on yes and once this window opens up go down into the description and copy this command from the description which starts with power CFG paste it inside here and then press enter after that you can close out of it and then go down to your start menu again and search power click on edit power plan go to power options and then click on this little arrow right here and now you can see the ultimate performance just click on it and you can close out of it for the next step guys go down into the description and click on the link for call of duty warzone fps files which is gonna take you to this website just click on download which is going to take you to this tab just go ahead and wait for 5 seconds and then you can click on download now and it will start downloading so once you have downloaded it you will need winrar to extract it so right click on it and click on extract here then go ahead and open up this folder inside here you will find two files ISLC and registry file optimizations first go into the registry file optimizations and use all of these registry files don't worry guys if for any reason you want to revert them you can do so by using all of these these are the default registry files so go ahead and use all of these for these two registry files go ahead and choose what best suits your specs so for me i'm just gonna use the low to medium and optimization then go back into the folder and go to the ISLC and then double click on this intelligent standby list cleaner ISLC then you can close out of this and then double click on this little heartbeat monitor in the taskbar click on stop if it's already started then go ahead and use 1024 in the list size is at least type 1024 and for the free memory is lower than make sure to use half of this number this is your total ram size so we are going to be using half of that for me i have 8 gigs of ram so i'm just using the 4 gigs and then for the wanted timer resolution just go ahead and set it to 0 0.50 and then press delete to get rid of the zeros after it this is the built-in time resolution which is gonna help you guys reduce input lag by a great amount and this whole software is gonna help you guys get a lot more fps and reduce any stutters. then you can click on purge standby list and click on start after that go ahead and minimize it and load up the game just keep it minimized and after you are done playing you guys can go ahead and close it like so so yeah guys moving on to the next step go down into the description and download ccleaner open it up then click on analyze go ahead and run cleaner after that go into the registry tab and click on scan for issues once the scan is complete click on fix selected issues click on no and then click on fix all selected issues click on close and now you can close out of it for the best in-game settings just go ahead and follow along with the video there are not many things that you need to change just set everything to low and make sure to use full screen
So yeah guys that's it for this video. If this video helped you guys be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. By the way guys don't forget to join our discord server. We are trying to make a gaming community right here. And there are a lot of people who will help you guys if you guys have any issues or any problems. I will personally help you guys as well. So just go ahead and join the discord server. Link will be in the description. So yeah guys I will see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.